Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Toddy Wampus. Ah, this is one crazy topsy's turvy sort of cocktail, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's why we called it this, kind of like a take on the Caddy Wampus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not that the Caddy Wampus is a cocktail, it's just a word, <laughs> right? But this is kind of a freaky little hot toddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, toddies are, that's an old cocktail. Yep. Yeah, it comes from the fourth quarter of the 18th yeah. century, right, right around the... American Revolutionary War. This is what George Washington was drinking through his wooden teeth, right? Because <laughs> right. his soldiers were getting ready to go across the Delaware, the freezing Delaware. Mm -hmm. This is what they needed to warm them up. Yeah. 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 And this is sort of a crazy take on that classic hot toddy. Mm -hmm. We have another crazy take, our Trinidad toddy, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Those were created for the current alcohol neck issue, which this is also in. And you need bourbon for this cocktail. Mm -hmm. We're using the mixers here today. And then Chinar, that bitter Italian Amaro, kind of this, that's what turns us on his head. That's right. Right? Yeah. That's a very bitter thing, but in this cocktail with the sweetness with the honey, it just sort of mellows out and gives an incredible depth and loads of flavor to this cocktail. That's right. Yeah. Right? Then we top it off with some bitter cube cherry bark vanilla bitters, which kind of just make it shine mm -hmm. uh, with those vanilla notes and cinnamon notes, and this is one fantastic hot cocktail. That's right. All right. Let's make it. Let's we make have it. our glass preheated here mm -hmm. with hot water. We're going to discard that. And we're going to begin. We're, we're starting with one and a half ounces of the bourbon. All these recipes here that we have are geared toward a seven ounce Irish coffee mug. So we use those. If you use a 10 ounce coffee mug, you want to add a little bit more spirits and, and uh, sweetener. Otherwise, mm -hmm. just don't fill it all the way to the top. Three quarter ounces of the Chinar. Features artichoke in their fill. Amongst like hundred other things probably. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's because people don't really like eating artichokes because it's kind of difficult to do, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Might as well just distill it then, yeah. right? So Phil's gonna do three quarter ounces of honey. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do one eyedropper full of these cherry bark vanilla bitters. If you have the larger bottle, it's just one dash. I kind of like using the eyedropper only because I feel like a mad scientist. <laughs> You're stuck over there with the boring honey, which that's like right. is, that's the most aggravating part of this cocktail. It takes a while, there we go. But the honey really makes the bitterness of the chinar sort of shine. Right? Mm -hmm. You kind of get some minty notes and just some sort of indescribable herbal quantity, uh, qualities that make this delicious. There we go. All right, and we're gonna top that off with water, four ounces here to the top. We'll give that a stir for about 10 seconds to get that honey dissolved. And this is just such a refreshing, warm flavor bomb. It's delicious. We're gonna to top that with a bay leaf as a garnish and to add a little extra flavor. And here you have your delightful, fun, toddy wampus. Enjoy. Cheers.